Hi, this is Jason. I'm doing a little uh, search engine optimization work for a client of ours. Uh, so I'm going to show you how here with CSC machine, how we're going to add them to Google. Now, one thing Google does is Google indexes the web when it knows that websites end up popping up somewhere and they, they figure that out because of links from one website or another, or maybe somebody finds it through um, a series of clicks. But if you have a new website, it helps to give it a little push and just let Google know on your own that, hey, my website exists and you can tell them where to index and how and uh, some other pieces of information. So what we're going to do is first go to google.com slash webmasters slash tools. And this brings you to this webmasters page. We're going to add a property. And then in my case, uh, I'm going to add this cscmachine.com uh, website. Type that in, and then it's going to ask you to verify uh, the domain. It says I'm already a verified owner. Uh, verifying with more than one me method will make your ownership more resilient. Hmm, not sure about that. So I've already verified with Google Analytics. Um, I could verify with several other things. I'm just going to say, hey, let's verify with Google Analytics. I'm already verified. So we'll go through that. Congratulations, I've been verified. I'm going to continue. And now, uh, one of the more important things is we want to make sure Google is crawling the website, means that uh, it's indexing it, it's looking at all the web pages that we have, it's looking at all the content, and making sure that any if anybody's uh, specifically searching for some content on our website, uh, that Google is going to deliver that to people. So. Uh, one thing we could do is go to the sitemaps area. And first thing you want to make sure is that you do have a sitemap on your website. So in our case, what we do is install a sitemap for our clients. And it's at uh, sitemap.xml. And that should be the case for most websites. Uh, you can We might have another tutorial on that, on uh, getting sitemaps to show up uh, on your WordPress website. It's actually quite easy. There are services that can do that for you. Um, or you can code one yourself, which actually isn't too hard. So right now, I'm just going to go and add this sitemap.xml to um, the list of sitemaps. I'm going to refresh the page as it asks me to, and it should show that we have submitted the sitemap to them and it'll list things. Yep, that's great. So there's, uh, it's a web sitemap. We've submitted 20 pages to them. And now this Google knows that one, cscmachine.com exists and it knows exactly where to find the sitemaps, which is a good thing. Um, there's also some other uh, tools on here you can test. You can test your Robux uh, TXT file just to make sure that uh, there's no errors that pop up. This robot TX, robots TXT file will, um, that's the place where you can tell Google not to crawl your website or not search your website. And sometimes, uh, whether it's for malicious reasons or people don't even know, but sometimes that um, robots.txt file is telling Google not to um, crawl that website, and then that would impact your search engine optimization. So, uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of information that you can use on this. One other last thing that I would recommend is uh, let's let's tell Google how to determine uh, which way. Let's see, so. Uh, which which website, because a lot of people will not make the choice of either putting that www or um, or putting it there in front of their website. So let's add both www and normal cscmachine.com. Uh, and I'm going to go to the alternate methods and go to Google Analytics and say, yes, let's verify via Google Analytics. Um and I'm not sure why. It's because I, I'm pretty sure that if I go to www.cscmachine.com. Oh, we, I don't have it forward, uh, forwarded. Okay, so that's uh, that shows me an error uh, that I need to make sure that this www is actually forwarded to cscmachine.com. So that is... Um, a good piece of information. So what we'll do after here is... Um, 
I'll verify to the site. And then you, you can tell Google which version of your website to show, whether you can show whether you want to uh, list the www or the cscmachine.com. Now make sure that one always forwards to the other because we don't, essentially those are two different websites. If you make it so both show up, then Google can treat those as two different websites. This is a way that you can prevent that. Um, but I'm going to pause the video for a second and I'm going to make sure that I have this forwarded to the other cscmachine.com and then I will be right back to you. So where's my pause button and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I fixed that issue. And what what I had to do was at the domain level where I tell where A records to go, I usually add and some, a lot of people add it automatically, but I had to add a subdomain that was a star and then point it to the same uh, A record IP address that we had on file. So now I should be able to refresh this um, and it will go and automatically forward. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now uh, if I go back to the Google search console, I should be able to click on verify here and then it's going to see that yes, that does resolve there. There we go. I'm my ownership has been verified. Okay, so now um, what I want to go through here, there should be a message maybe. Let's do search. I'm going to just have to look through all of these and see where... And here's some things you can go through uh, and improve the search presence. Uh, those are some things you can go through on your own um, in order to, uh, let's see, change of address, I can't remember. And here's some things that Google has a lot of great tools here. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show exactly where that, because what we want to do is we want to say, um, we want to tell Google, Hey, make sure that the, uh, either with the WWW or without the WWW shows up, um, on, on Google. And I think, And a lot of this isn't here because um, we just uploaded it. All right, I'm going to pause this so that uh, you don't have to watch me search for this. One second. Okay, here's where we go. I found it. Uh, so you go to the gear wheel here, and now I'm on the normal cscmachine.com. Uh, so I go to site settings, and then here's where you can set your preferred domain. So I want to I want to display URLs as cscmachine.com. And in order to do that, you need to prove that you are the owner, the verified owner of both cscmachine.com or yourdomain.com and the one with www in front of it. So I'm going to save that. And then crawl rate, we're going to, uh, we're going to let Google optimize for our site. And that, that usually seems to me to work pretty well. So hopefully that's been helpful and we'll see you in the next video.